हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन स्क्रैप इमेजेस फ्रॉम गूगल एंड वी विल यूज सेलेनियम एज अवर स्क्रैपिंग टूल एंड पाइथन एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो लेट्स फर्स्ट सी द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द वर्क वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड now you can see either image url or we can get base 64 string of the image data so let's get started and build this now i am in a folder where i want to write the code i will open visual studio code we will first create a virtual environment the best way to create a virtual environment in python is venv package so this package is by default there in all python installation and the way you create a virtual environment is using this command python hyphen m venv and name of your virtual environment so let's follow this i'm not using 3 since python 3 is already my default python but if that is not the case in your machine you should use python 3 so i will write python hyphen m v e n v and let's say image scrapping image scrapping is the name of my virtual environment and let's run this command now there are different ways depending on which operating system you are for windows this command will activate the virtual environment while on unix or mac os this command will activate the virtual environment you can see tutorial hyphen env is the name of your virtual environment so when you run this command you will replace this with the name of your virtual environment so let me do that source image scrapping bin and then activate so now you can see i am inside my virtual environment image scrapping i will create a new file let's say demo code dot python when i will create demo code dot python file my visual studio code will automatically recognize that i am using this virtual environment now we will need selenium python package i'll copy this command and install this before running this command make sure you are in the virtual environment otherwise it will install globally the next thing will be web driver manager python i will install that as well okay we will ignore this warning it just saying that the peep version is older but still if you are working for longer time on this virtual environment you should consider upgrading peep as well 
now I will not write all the code but I will surely demo the code to you so we will require two packages selenium and selenium web driver chrome service and then web driver manager chrome driver manager okay now what will happen is that if you see this warnings that the module not found you should go here and refresh the environment once you refresh the virtual environment you'll see that the warnings are now gone let me indent this clearly okay let me run this you can see that it has opened the url images.google.com and it quit itself let me go to the website first if you press f12 while the browser is active window you will see inspect element and if you click on this button you will particularly click on any element if you click on this search bar you will see that it has uh, input tag and uh, class Z L F Y so what we will do we will get this class and insert a key into this and then hit search button so let me do that as well so I have a code okay let me copy this let me format this it's okay and it requires this by which is under from selenium dot web driver dot common dot by import by okay and the search query let's say something mickey mouse uh, also we'll need from selenium web driver common dot keys and import keys okay i hope all also we need timer import time i think it's good now let me run the code again okay you can see it has searched the key and now it will quit itself so we are good until now let's do other things the next thing we want to do is scroll up to the bottom of the page so if I search something sorry we can see certain amount of images but if I scroll down further you can see this uh, scrolling bar is getting smaller still so we need to scroll to the bottom of the page to scrap all the images so let's do that now scroll to the bottom is a function let me copy it okay now it's look good let me just give a sleep timer of two seconds
so it has searched the key now it will scroll to the bottom of the page you can see it has started scrolling it will also click on show more images now it has scrolled to the bottom of the page and it will now close itself somehow the chrome browser did not close itself but it, that's okay the code ran successfully now let me show you to inspect the element if i click on this you will see this is the image tag and the class name is uh, if i hover again it here you can see rg underscore i underscore capital q4 so let's grab that as well so what i will do is i will grab all the images i will grab all the images which has image tag and class rg underscore iq so let me make sure that is the case okay now let me just print Okay, let me just print this if I run this Okay, so you can see uh, total images, 418 images are found. Now what we will do, we will loop over the images and okay what we will do we will loop over the images mm. this is okay no indentation error okay what we will do we will loop over the images one by one click on the image so what we will do we will loop over image click on the image once you click on the image you will see a url we will copy this URL. There are two chances. There are two chances. First, either we get the URL or we get the base 64 of that image. So we will print both of them. Okay. Uh, let me first uh, okay get rid of the web driver weight error okay this web driver wait is is to wait until the image is clickable okay uh, we don't need this let me get rid of this it's just an expression that says that uh, the exception that the image is not clickable so it's okay we don't need it at this point uh, let me run this
okay image is not clickable oh how we got this error okay this ec we need to import it mm -hmm. okay my bad <coughs> let me run the code again okay you can see it has clicked on the image and the first image is on this URL you can see it okay there are multiple images with base 64 data so you can get the base 64 data here so if you print the source here this source actual image source this will be either a URL or base 64 data then you can use uh, any library like pillow to convert base 64 into image and here you can save the image uh, at a particular location that you want to store so I hope this helps and you will be able to replicate the same thing the code used in this tutorial will be on my github and the link for that repository is under the description of this video feel free to comment your question and suggestion regarding this video thank you for watching peace